Hi guys, uh, in this tutorial I'm just going to introduce you to the three main Java uh, development environments. Um, there are three of them. Uh, there are the Eclipse, there's NetBeans, and there is BlueJ. And there are also a bunch of other ones, but these are the main ones. Uh, Eclipse can be downloaded by googling Eclipse, going to the download page, and uh, installing the internal development environment. Uh, Eclipse is a great environment, one of the most useful and uh, most customizable and it is great for beginners and experts alike. If you get really into Java coding and want to write like um, business-like applications and really advanced applications, I highly suggest you use Eclipse over any of these other ones. Uh, there's also one called NetBeans which is very very similar to Eclipse but a little bit more simple. Um, I suggest NetBeans if you're just a casual uh, writer of software and you or have a pretty advanced uh, understanding of Java. And it also, oh, another thing about Eclipse, it has tons of plugins that you can do so much stuff with it. NetBeans does not have as many plugins as it. So if you really want to create some unique applications or want a visual plugin just like Visual Studio, then you should get Eclipse game. And then the other one is called BlueJ. And BlueJ is all about beginners. It's all about teaching people how to start off with um, with learning Java. And I don't really suggest you use this. Um, I was actually forced to use it when I first learned Java. Um, and it's it's they leave out a lot of like important things, but it's good for people who are like just starting out writing their first Hello World application. You know, really just need to know the basics as much as possible. And now that I've shown you how you can actually find these and download them, I'm just going to show you. I actually have all three of these installed on my computer. I'm just going to boot them all up. This first one's Eclipse. I'm actually not going to go into real in-depth with these, but just show you kind of what they look like. Let's resize this baby. And as you can see, there's so many things. There's actually even an Android plugin because I use this to develop Android applications. Um, and I'm just going to show you what a new Java project looks like. Open up test. Add a new class. As you can see, this looks very confusing right now. And you can write code like I'll just print out hello. Um, it also has a very uh, advanced debugging thing, so you can really step into it. I'll probably go more in depth into these different IDs later, since this is just a uh, brief introduction. Uh, the next one I'll go to is NetBeans, which is actually very very similar to Eclipse which you'll see this in a second I haven't actually decided which one requires more uh, CPU power Eclipse or NetBeans but um, they're both much more resource intensive than BlueJ as you can see I have my labs and programs on here I actually do use NetBeans for school uh, new project a little bit more user friendly here but it, actually the debugging and um, interface is much very similar to Eclipse like as you see this between Eclipse and NetBeans looks very similar similar outlook um, but the debugging is much more simpler although um, you do not get as many um, not resources, but you don't have as many uh, things you're able to do with NetBeans, although it is uh, very uh, easy to write code in. And then the last one is Puje, which I think I have right here somewhere, unless I uninstalled it because I got angry at it. Let's go ahead and create a new project. <laughs> All my labs. And as you can see, BlueJ looks completely different. And with BlueJ, you just you can create a class, 
double click it to go into the code. Also, this thing has absolutely no auto completion or it, and very little error checking compared to NetBeans and Eclipse, which really does a lot of things for you and really helps you out. But um, also, there is no main method in um, in uh, the BlueJ. It just starts from the constructor, and I'll show you a quick sample of that. Compile it, and it'll actually tell you if there's no syntax errors or not. And in order to run a program, you just have to right click to new test class, and it'll print out a little thing. And that's just as simple as you can possibly get, while well, these other development environments are often very complicated if you start out as a beginner. Um, that's just a brief introduction to each of the three main development environments. Again, I, I suggest BlueJ only if you really want to um, learn and have never dealt with any other programming languages or have trouble with uh, understanding these complex development environments, then I would suggest you move on to either uh, NetBeans if you're a casual programmer or Eclipse if you really want to create some intense and difficult stuff. Um, that's it for this tutorial. If you'd like to learn anything more about Java or C Sharp, make sure to uh, leave a comment on my video. Um, make sure to subscribe to all my other videos, subscribe to my channel and uh, head to my forums and website which is in my description. Uh, this is Quackware signing out.